Hello everybody, it's Ellie Diecast and we're back. I have Andrew here with me. Hi. And we also have our our uh, accreditation expert, Glow in the Dark Mouse here. He's going to make sure that everything we do is on the up and up and legal, abiding by all mystery box guidelines. So we're going to do mystery box part two. If you watched our last video, that was obviously part one. This is just a continuation. We were just filming that a few minutes ago. And uh, if you are not sure how Mystery Box is played, uh, we've played it differently in the past, but this time around I am going to grab two cars out of a Mystery Box. We don't know what's in the box for the most part. Uh, there could be anything in there, and many times there is anything. Even if you don't get a car, that's what's going downhill. You could get a, a ball, and it would have to be rolling downhill. <laughs> Whatever car you get will go to, well, back up a little bit. We will pick a viewer. The next one is going to be count five, for instance. The viewer signed up in a video a few videos back, a few episodes back, and we take what was supposed to be the first 48. It ended up being about the first 51 by the time I figured out YouTube was blocking a few comments, but that doesn't matter. And the car that is left over from the two we pick goes to the viewer. Andrew is going to pick one of the cars to keep for himself. So whatever is left goes to the viewer. All right, we'll use this as a test run. We've got two cars I am picking for count five. Here we go. We've got a matchbox. This was a uh, Chevy Bel Air against a, this was, I believe, a McDonald's car roadster of some sort. Uh, there you go. Which one do you want, Andrew? The other one goes to count five for downhill racing. The orange car. The orange car is going to Andrew. Count five, who has been a part of this many times, is getting himself that well there. All right, that goes over there. Next viewer. See how this works? It's very simple. So, Coop plays MC. Coop, I think, is new to this. Coop was also one of them. His comment was blocked for some reason, and I unblocked it, and so he got into the competition. All right, we've got a, is this a Riviera? Or, yeah, Riviera. Coop could get that sweet Riviera, or this audacious. Which one do you want, Andrew? The red car. The red car, yeah. See, Andrew does not like the, the large 70s gas guzzling car looking cars. He, he will go for anything over those. I'm sure Coop is fine with that. I'm not sure the Audacious was going to go downhill as well. <laughs> it had some little, little rusty axle going there. All right, so Coop, he gets that one. All right, next is V-Dub Matt, another longtime viewer. V-Dub Matt. Let's see if we can get Matt some V-Dubs. We've got no V-Dubs for V-Dub Matt. We do have a pretty sweet little... Oh, wait, this is a McDonald's car. I did not know that. We've got this... This is a McDonald's Corvette, believe it or not. There's the bottom. And we've got another Matchbox Firebird Formula. I know which one. Well, no, I don't. Which one are you going to pick? This is going to be a tough choice for you. You want both of them, don't you? Oh, you don't. Which one do you want? The one with the red flames? This one. Yeah, I figured he likes that weird. I always, I've always thought that is one of the ugliest Matchbox castings ever. <laughs> there had to be some sort of production problem with that one to fill in the top like that. All right, so VW Matt is going downhill in his McDonald's Corvette here. It is not a VW, but... Can't get, can't get that on there. All right. Next is Pigeon Power. Pigeon Power. Pigeons known for their power. <laughs> All right. Pigeon Power gets his choice between what looks to be a Coca-Cola Matchbox car. It is a Chevy Bel Air versus a SS... Commodore VT. Which one do you want, Andrew? Coca-Cola. Yeah, I figured you'd go with that Coca-Cola car. All right, Pigeon Power is going down in his Commodore here. All right. All 
Okay. Next is ooh. Well, the next one is Chase Michael, and Chase is either going down in this. Uh, what is this? this is some sort of little amb. It says ambulance, little transit type vehicle, or one of these, which is what Andrew's going to pick. This is the X S I V E. This is the car with the twisty thingamajigger on the front. You want that one, don't you? Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> All right. That was easy. Andrew's going to go for those big giant fantasy cars every time, and Chase is going downhill in his ambulance. Maybe Chase's uh, real purpose will be to save some cars if they go off the track. All right, next we've got going to Elijah White. We've got a purple custom 69 Chevy or a, a one of these. <laughs> Which one do you want, Andrew? Blue car. The blue car. I kind of thought you'd get the blue car. Trucks are not really your favorites. I'm pretty sure Elijah would like this one over that blue car. Blue car had some rusty, rusty axles. That's what you like about them. <laughs> you love them when they're all beat up and smashed up. <laughs> Formerly loved. <laughs> all right. Next cars are going to. This one's upside down. I don't even know who this is. Mind Zombie! I work with a few Mind Zombies myself. Maybe he, maybe that might work. This one is Split Vision. Split Vision in a sort of rusty mode there. Or an 8 crate from about 2012. Which one? Mm, yellow car. Yellow car, yeah. yeah that's, that's right up your alley. You love the... You love the history on those cars. <laughs> Mine zombies going downhill in an eight crate. This is going to be a very competitive downhill race here. All right, two more. The next one is going to Bob Weber, who is, I believe, the last champion we had. Bob Weber. Well, Bob, you're going to have a hard time here. Let's see. Uh, maybe not. All right, this one, this one rolls fine. This is a uh, what is that? A Dodge Charger. Oh, this is one of the. This is when the Chargers didn't look like Chargers, <laughs> and a uh, an off-road thing. This is a McDonald's off-road one. Mm -hmm. Andrew's going with that one, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> because it's McDonald's car. Bob, Bob's breathing a sigh of relief. His chances to repeat which has never been done in mystery downhill racing, mystery box downhill racing. Bob's chances are still alive, but maybe slim there. Diecast HD. Diecast HD gets his pick, be, or Andrew gets his pick between a, what is this, a quicksand from maybe this year. That's not that old. Versus a Power Pistons in silver. Mm. You want this one, huh? Oh, no, he's thinking. I thought I, we had that one for sure. Which one? Um, silver. Silver, yeah, that, that's more your take. It's, you know, it's got some history on it. It's shiny. You like that. All right, HD, diecast HD. Now, this does bring up a thing. If uh, your car cannot fit on the track, then we will find you another car or find you a way to make your car go down the track. So that one may be one of those that qualifies for that. Next one goes to Nesto P. Nesto. Oh, pick from the other side, Andrew says. Okay, Nesto, this is being controlled by Andrew. Ooh, we've got, ooh, this is an old car. You may pick this one. This is a Rock Buster. That's, a, that's an old car. It's an old black wall. I bet that's from the very late 70s, early 80s, maybe, I'm guessing. Versus a Fire Eater, I think. Uh, both of them 
A little rickety here. Which one? The silver one. The silver one. Andrew's, Andrew's going with silver one. Alright, Nesto. I'm going to have to see if I can trade up for you on that one. Let's see what we can do there. There we go. That goes there. Okay. This one is uh, NBFD Freak. Which side? This side, this side. This side? Right. There we go. We've got two cars. Oh, uh, Door Slammer. One of my favorite uh, fantasy castings versus a 98 Mustang. Which one do you think you want, Andrew? Yellow one. Oh, I thought for sure you'd go with the door slammer. All right. NBFD Freak is going downhill in the door slammer. All right. We'll have to decide if we want that wheelie bar up or down when we go down downhill. Um, next, this side or this side? This side. This side? Andrew's going with the far side. All right, we've got ourselves a Celine. Oh, this. Sorry, this one goes with uh, Nathan Shore. Nathan is a former winner of this event, and the <laughs> the Matchbox. What Andrew was checking is this one is a Matchbox car with a switch. The switch does not work. You're gonna go with the Matchbox car, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Or do you want the yellow one? You're, you're falling out of tradition here. Which one? Nathan is waiting. Matchbox. Uh, this one? No. This one? Yeah. Yeah. McDonald's. McDonald's. That's a McDonald's Hot Wheels. All right, he is going with that. Nathan, you are going downhill in the Celine. I'm not sure it's going to live up to that Celine name, but it does roll. We will have to see how it does. All right. Next is Summer Set Steve. This one? Yeah. All right, Andrew's going with the same side. Our box has two holes in it here, so it's... Ooh, these are two good cars. All right, this is a, a Plymouth Duster. That, it must be a... Uh, uh, whatever the new brand is. The ones with the, uh, the nice paint finishes. I never remember the names. Cool classics. And a Fantastique. Ooh, this is a tough choice for Andrew. He probably wants both of those. So, which one are you going with? The yellow one. The yellow one. All right. The Fantastique is going to Somerset Dave. I'm a little surprised with that. I figured you'd go with the... Uh, with this one because it's weird looking you tend to like the weird looking ones <laughs> all right next is brett burger and brett this side right mm -hmm. brett is going to get his choice between these these two it looks like a pronto oh or this one that andrew is going to just pick it is a humvee from taco bell which doesn't fit down the track anyways. Which one do you want? Mm -hmm. You can't be thinking about this. <laughs> Which one do you want? The taco one. Yeah, of course you want the taco one. <laughs> you just got one of those yesterday at the show for like 25 cents. You've got a couple of them. All right. You got to understand with Andrew, he doesn't care if he has like 30 of, a, of the same car. If he likes a car, he'll just always pick that one. <laughs> doesn't matter if he already has it. Elijah Pryor is the next contestant. And we've got ourselves a very nice looking Continental and a car that Andrew's just going to pick because it is a, I believe this is, oh no, this is a Road Champs. This is a Pontiac Firebird drag car. Stone Cold. Which one? Red car. You want the red one? You've never picked a Continental in your life. <laughs> You're going to... Wow. All right. <laughs> Things are changing. Elijah Pryor. You're going downhill in that drag car from the Road Champs. I thought for sure you'd pick that one. 
There's a big ugly dude on the front of it. A drag car. Something different. That just sounded like <laughs> All right, over here. Next contestant is uh, what is this? Cool boy toy reviews. I believe there's a channel with that cool boy. You could either have this very beat up, ain't gonna win its heat, super fast, awesome V-dub car that Andrew knows is sitting in my collection up on my shelf upstairs with super fast cars, or a 70s Chevelle. Cool Boy Toy Reviews is hoping for... What are you going to pick, Andrew? The red car. The red car! Cool Boy Toy Reviews. Just a big sigh of relief there. <laughs> I'm not even sure we'd allow that other car on the track. It might scratch my track. <laughs> That's my track. Oh, your track. All right. Cool Boy Toys Reviews. Goes right there. Okay. Next. It's going to... Who is this? Jacob Lee has played in many of these before. We've got ourselves a Fat Fendered 40. I believe that's a Fat Fendered 40. Uh, by the way, if you saw my video with the uh, custom combi, those fenders are where I got it. I couldn't remember the name of the car. I just recognized it. Versus this one, and it is another McDonald's car. This was one of our mystery what is it cars from long ago, an episode where we were figuring out what it is. Which one do you want? McDonald's. The green one. Yeah, I figured you'd go with the green one. Okay, Jacob Lee is going in that fat fender 40. Uh, your, your chances aren't looking good there, Jacob, in that one, but we'll see if we can't up radio okay next to going to Steve Cartaya Cart Cartaya I probably butchered that all right we've got this very fast oh these are both pretty fast looking this one looks like it is a well a oops, stock car oh Camaro that's one of those Camaros boy they made a lot of those <laughs> there's a lot of castings of those and a super tuned truck with Yu-Gi-Oh on the side. Which one are we going with? White car. The white car? I can go with Yu-Gi-Oh. Okay. I don't think that was... I think yeah, you got a good deal there, Steve. I like the Yu-Gi-Oh one myself. All right. Okay. Well, we're getting there. I think we'll... We may need to do a third video here. We'll have to see. Here's Zachary Walker. Zachary gets either, this is a Johnny Lightning uh, Playing Manus Corvette Nomad. That's a nice car. Oh, versus a Hot Wheels Nomad. I didn't even look at it. That is an old Hot Wheels Nomad. Two Nomads. Mm -hmm. Which one is Zachary going downhill in? The brown one. He's going in this one. You're keeping this one? No, no you're, you want this one. Mm -hmm. All right, you get that playing Manus Nomad. Zachary, you're going down in the Hot Wheels. A uh, really nice car that ain't going to probably win its heat. <laughs> it's, it's been played with some, but it is a sweet car to go down in. Lunar 979 gets his choice between... A uh, rapid, is, what, no, it's not rapid flyer, radio flyer wagon, or oh, this one. Remember, this was the one with the the spring inside. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this one that me and Andrew actually don't know what that is. I remember when we picked it up and it got thrown in the box. Andrew was very enthralled with it. While Andrew's choosing, I'll show you what we were looking at. There's a spring inside there, and it's got a little hood thing that bounces up and down. But we couldn't get it to work. I haven't researched it yet. What do you want? Mm, the one with the spring? The one with the spring, yeah. Okay, okay, we'll have to look that one up. All right, Lunar 979, you're going down in the radio flyer. All right. Next up, Hot Wheels Racer Mike, another one who has been with us since the very beginning. I'm going to do this side. We haven't done this side. Once. Hot Wheels Racer Mike, you get another Continental. Man, we've got a lot of Continentals in here. Uh, or a, this is a Torino, I think, Grand Torino Sport. Not my favorite 
model of the Grand Torinos, but I do like those Torinos. Which one do you want? Mm. Red car. Red car, yeah, Torino. Okay. Hot Wheels Racer Mike, your car will go into my Continental Collection because obviously I get a lot of them. <laughs> so, got a good chance of winning in that one. At least a better chance than some. That one goes there. Diecast Jeremy is next. Diecast Jeremy gets his pick between... Or Andrew gets his pick between an Amazoom or a racing... You know, what is this? Racing Champions Mustang. I cannot read the year. It might be a 68. This one's missing. It's... it's it's uh, part of its engine. Which one do you want? Red car. Red car. All right. That's Racing Champions goes to Andrew. Diecast Jeremy, you get your Amma Zoom. That looks as probably as good as a lot of them. All right. Next up, Michael Hale. Go on this side. Two cars. Michael Hale gets a, this is one of these Praying Mantis ones. Uh, oh, it's a Praying Mantis, okay. A Praying Mantis. This one was just released in the E case or D case. And, or a, another McDonald's car. This one with those really cool wheels. But Andrew has about 40 of these. Which one are we going to go with? Yeah, this one. You just want more and more of them. All right. Uh, I don't know about those wheels. <laughs> Michael, our praying man is here. We, we'll, we'll see what we can do, but he may need some, some garage work before he goes downhill. All right. Uh, them. Nope. The Marindi Car 8 of 5. Them Rindy Car 8 of <laughs> I'm probably butchering that. Somebody spent a lot of time coming up with something really creative and I probably messed it up. All right, two cars. Here we go. Oh, I had one and then it got away. All right, here's, here's one. We've got ourselves, oh, look at this. A National Hot Rod Racing Association. I think that's a Happy Meal toy. Versus a Ford Shelby GR, are they ones, GR, one concept, yeah. Which one do you want? The yellow one. The yellow one. The Rindy, them Rindy car 8 of is very happy with his pick, I think. All right. We will get through this. It's going to be a little bit of a long video. We're probably going to go about another... Four minutes. Zane Pajak, one who has been with us for a long time. Zane made it pretty far in the last one, I think, if I remember right. Zane gets his choice between a McDonald's. I don't think you have this one. I do. A, a McDonald's something. That's one with the stickers. Versus a, I don't know what this guy is. Oh, Silhouette. Isn't that a Silhouette? I think that's a Silhouette. The Happy Meal one. Happy Meal one. All right, Zane. You get yourself that one. Probably the better bet. That Happy Meal car wasn't going to be heavy enough to get too far. Okay. Next up, Tom Thabert. Tom Thabert, I think it is, or T-Bert. We'll go on this side. Tom, you are getting your choice of uh, one of these little battle wagon guys. What is this? I don't remember his name. Anyways, one of those little off-road battle vehicles. Versus a custom 53 Chevy. That is pretty nice. Which one? Andrew has a bunch of these. The yellow one. The yellow one. All right. Tom, your chances are as good as anybody in that one. Okay. Next goes to... William Witters Jr., another long time viewer. William has been with us since the very beginning. Let's go on this side for William. William gets his choice between these two cars, whatever they are. Uh, another McDonald's car. Oh, it's another one of these. Versus a, this is a Riviera, right? A Riviera. 
McDonald's one. Yeah, the McDonald's one. William's like, yeah. Plus, I wanted that Riviera, Tom, so that's one. I collect the Rivieras. I don't have that one. <laughs> I'm not trading Williams because I want that car. <laughs> Diecastic! If you have not picked up Guy Dietast Dietast Dietastic Show, you should. One of the best YouTube channels out there. The guy puts out a ton of stuff. Glad to have him here with us. Dicastic, you get either this uh, is that a Model A? I think that's a Model A Roadster, something like that, or a Scirocco GT34. Both have been played with. Which one are we gonna go with? Blue car. You're keeping the blue car? Really? I thought you'd go with the other one. All right. So the Scirocco goes to Andrew. Dicastic, you are going to get, I think that's a Model A, if I remember right. I never remember the name of it. Forge something. Okay. Wait a second. I can't get Dicastic's uh, name is down there. All right, the last one. Now remember, I think we had about 51 or 52, so we're, our brackets are going to be a little bigger. But it is going to Tanya Nutter. I think I got that right. If I mis mispronounced your name, Tanya, sorry. A new person to this. Let's see if we can't get Tanya two good ones here. I'm, I'm, I think we're going with these two. Ooh, a little, oh, oh, okay, this will be interesting. <laughs> so, a, uh, this is a, a Range Rover. That is a nice car. Andrew may want that one versus a, a tiny, ditty bitty little four-wheeler. I don't remember what this guy was from. <laughs> he has a Matchbox. If Tanya, I'll tell you this. If you want this one, then I got to pick another car for Tanya because that ain't going down the track. Which one do you want? Neither are going down the track, probably. So, <laughs> the motorcycle. You want this one. Okay. So what we're going to do, that, that's not going to fit down the track. I've run into these guys before. So Tanya, you're going to get the next one I pick out, no matter what it is. Oh, this is a good, this is a good, uh, a good trade. All right. So this one, we're going to keep for Tanya, okay? Did you want that one? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry, Tanya. Should have built that up a little better. <laughs> I should have asked if he wanted his other one over that one. But anyways, all right. So I'm going to put my little Range Rover to the side. We have we are done. We've got over here. That is our pile of contestants. Over there is Andrew's pile. There you go. That is Andrew's pile over there. Now, which ones would you like to trade? Andrew. Any of these here? You got... I'll, I'll put these out here. Any of these you want to trade? I'll, well, how about this? I'll tell you which ones I'll trade for. I would trade for either this one, this one, this one, this one. This one. This one. Avalanche. <laughs> Let's not get them mixed up. All right. Uh, how about those? That's good enough. So any of those you want to trade for? Want that black car? Which one? This one? Yeah. Oh. Black. I told you. Ramsmo, he was coming after your car. That red car? <laughs> this one? Mm -hmm. Ramsmo. Sorry, man, but... I got a bunch of these myself, and I want that Continental because the one that I have, which is somewhere around here, is trashed, and I am trading this. I could be giving away a championship. There, there will be discussion about this, but Ramsmo, you are getting the Continental, and this car is going in Andrew's pile. That is a nice car. We need to make sure that one's taken care of. Any others you would like to trade? Mm -hmm. Any others of mine here? I'll, I'll kind of move them around here so you can see them. Uh, there was this one you might have wanted. Um, this one you might have wanted. This one. Which one? Any of these you want? 
Uh, that purple car. This one? Yeah. Alright, the door slammer Andrew's after. This one is, door. this is NBFD Freak. I think NB, or NBFD, you're upgrading no matter what. What are we trading for? I'll take any of those. Which one? Red car. Red car, Torino. That is a good deal for, for, N, for NB there. Okay. NB... FD Freak, you get the Torino now. That was, a, that was an upgrade. Any others you would like to trade for? That one with the flames. Flames. There's a lot of them flames. This one? No. We just traded that one. This one? Yeah, that Oh, okay. This is a good... This will be... Oh, Bob Weber! <laughs> Andrew coming through at the last second for Bob. All three would be upgrades for downhill racing for Bob. He's very excited. He has driven his, what is this? <laughs> He's driven his Dodge Charger that doesn't really look like a Dodge Charger into the lot. He's red upgrading the, the red car. All right. It is a racing champion. That is an upgrade, Bob. You are back in it. Always excitement here. Unscripted. <laughs> All right, that is yours. Any others? You done? Yeah. Okay, these two you're keeping. All right, that is it, folks. So in the next video, we will do the downhill race. We're going long, so I'm going to sign off. Say bye. Bye. And we'll see you all in the downhill racing. Bye-bye.